Please fasten your seat belts and make sure your seat back and folding trays are in their upright and locked position, because robots are taking over planes. German airline WDL Aviation recently began testing a new robotic drink server dubbed Skytender. The Skytender works much like one of those multi-flavored soda dispensers you see at fast food places and can mix up to 15 different drinks. But the one thing it doesn't do? Actually serve them. Yes, even with a name like Skytender, the cart will still need human flight attendants to physically hand you your drinks, meaning we're still a couple of years away from this. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. A nice song. It's my favorite. You're the greatest. See you, sport. But why in the year 2012 do we still not have robots like this in every house? Well, according to the New Yorker, the two biggest challenges are what they've always been hardware and software. Basically, robots like the quadruped Alpha Dog work great in a controlled laboratory environment, but because they're in a lab, they're usually dependent on hydraulic actuators and gasoline engines, which I'm just assuming is the last thing you'd want in your kitchen. The trade-off is robots that don't rely on these components are painfully slow, and while computer processors are getting faster and faster every 18 months, motors, actuators, and batteries are not keeping pace, thus pushing robotic technology further away from its full potential. It's based basically the reason why we're stuck with robots like this in the house. Instead of like this. Are my fans still out there, Rosie? Yep, Miss Jody. I guess there's no accounting for taste. Sassy robot. There are, however, incremental advances in robots every day, like the Skytender, and with more and more robotics companies making their software open source, it opens the world of robotics to hackers everywhere. So who knows, in a couple more years, advances in robotics technology could evolve Google's self-driving car into this. Please state a street and number. I'm not familiar with that address. Would you please repeat that? <laughs> For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying maybe Sarah Connor was right.